Hi, welcome to part two, or the second video to the Shop Goodwill box. We opened the first bag that was full of very colorful beaded necklaces and things, and this is the second bag. So I'm excited to dig in and see what we've got. It's going to be a little noisy with the bag and things at first, so hang in there. I don't want to cut anything, so I'm just cutting at the tape. There we go, that helps. Oh, that's right. Nice. Okay, here comes the avalanche. See what we've got. Oh my goodness. It's like a treasure chest. In the old movies when they have a treasure chest and they just dig their hands in and hold up all this treasure. That's what it feels like. Aren't you cute? I'm already swooning. This is so cute. A gold tone ring. It's like a flower with the rhinestones in the middle. So cute. This has an issue, I'm going to put that aside, but wow, look at the texture on that. That's wonderful. Clip on. We'll put that in a bag. There's so much in here. I'm going to have to push it aside. This is nice, but I see a, a cleaning issue. Again, okay. Can you imagine how much jewelry these thrift stores have to process. Just gobs and gobs of it. I really give them a lot of credit. There's a person named Dave at this particular thrift store. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention. But he was so nice. I told him how much I enjoyed the last box and he emailed me back and said he really appreciated knowing that they were doing a good job. And I said, oh my goodness, I can't imagine all the jewelry you people handle and how you even get through it all. He was so, so nice. I enjoyed the little chat we had. So, this looks like a really cool brooch. It has oh, some more issues. But, this chain looks to be in great condition. Let me move this back a little so you can see. Let me know if this is a good background. The white one is good, um, but again, I wanted to change things up and make it nice and fresh. So it's a rope chain, nice size. The finish is terrific, looks to never be worn. Put that up there. Let's see, we'll put necklaces here. Something fell here. Earrings over here. Okay, so hi, I'm a new YouTuber, so thank you for your patience with me. I would love any comments you have. It would help me to know what to do, what to change, if you like the sound, um, if the light is good. It would really be helpful. I appreciate it. So, not too tangly so far. This is a coppery rose gold, I guess, rose gold tone. Sweet hearts all along there. Necklace, lobster clasp. No, um, no maker. But I can see right now that I'm going to have to have a white background because you can't really see the details of things with my green checker gingham. So how's that? Pretty, huh? Let's try that for a little bit. We've got a bracelet. It's kind of small. Feels like there's a cord in the middle. Oh, hitchhiker. And not sure. There's a bead inside, as you can see. And 
it's just very small either you can bend it bigger but so I'm gonna put that there how about that isn't that pretty it's a clamper bracelet clamper because oh it's not a clamper it is a like a push and release lever not sure what that's called but forgive me for that it is signed it says something Miller Nolan Miller Nolan Miller bracelet so is that a great brand is Nolan Miller a great brand I think I've seen some pieces and it is that's the clasp push it down put it on great shape I'm not seeing any stones missing but again it's hard to look through the phone to see everything but I'll check it really well we have a very sweet mesh metal gold tone earring pierced textured back faux pearl put with our earrings another earring gold tone squiggle a bracelet oh that reminds me of my dog so much I had a Labrador he was the love of my life and I almost still can't talk about him he just was everything and he was a beautiful dog and that looks just like him so what a sweet bracelet I know I couldn't wear it I would cry all day so and the kitty too cute 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 sorry to get weepy on you gold hoop from a closer look we find the buddy I see an earring with a name on the back let's see limited limited had some nice things are they still in business I'm gonna clean it up a bit limited brushed gold tone totally 80s I'm guessing earring another gold tone earring that's a beauty oh, it goes this way and it's a two-sided so we've got the faux pearl a black material here not sure yet what it is rhinestone and it's two-sided that's what the back looks like nice I may get a piece of styrofoam styrofoam out and poke the earrings into the styrofoam that's how I've been doing it lately I just stick them all in the styrofoam and then later on I pair them up or I pair them up as I go looks like we might have a pair here already gold tone very sweet green acrylic beads on the bottom bracelet with forever Aww, isn't that cute it says forever wait a minute there's a banana on it forever banana let's see what the name is you can let me see it okay it is Claire's you know Claire's older stuff maybe some of their newer stuff as well is really impressive I'll find some pieces sometimes and I'll be like that's Claire's Wow oh my goodness look at this treasure box Blessed Bobbles. Hmm. Look at that earring. Wow. This probably has some age to it. You can't fake that. And when you do, it's kind of obvious. But they're prong set. I'm not sure if they're glass. Maybe bits of turquoise. This is so interesting. Please share if you know anything about it. I will set it up here. 
and really look forward to whatever I learn about it. That's a pretty one. That's acrylic with lots of rhinestones in the middle. Maybe it's amethyst. Maybe we'll get the um, presidium out and have a peek at that. And we have a very shiny tennis type bracelet, but I can see the copper through, so it's been very loved. I'll still look at it before I toss it, but I'll put it in craft, I'm sure. It still has a safety clasp. I'm sorry, the, um, yeah, safety clasp, which probably needs a little a little help to work again. The stones are there. That'd be great for harvesting the stones. They are like a princess cut, I think. So that's going to go to craft for now, but I'll look at it really well. We have a very sweet rhinestone and imitation pearl pin. And another bracelet with a flamingo. I lived in Florida 23 years and flamingos were all over the place. Very sweet. So that's pretty. Lots of gold, lots of shimmery. I see our other earring. A little bit caught on something. Shake it very gently. I know it looks like I'm being rough, but I'm really not. If you shake it, sometimes it'll just let itself loose. If not, I'll have to get the loop. So, hmm. We may just have to put you right there next to your other one and when the rest of this comes out, we'll have that. Is this the other limited? Yes, it is. So, a pair of limited brush gold earrings. This is a big chain. Very shiny, very heavy. Is this a Cuban link? Is that what this is called? It is probably quite long. I'll put the lobster claw clasp on. Not seeing any names. Oops, I didn't do that right. Okay. It's in great shape. I'll show you what it looks like next to the white. That's lovely. Very wearable. Very good condition. In our necklace pile. So I think this box was well over 20 pounds. And the last one I got from them was really terrific. This looks like it might have had a, a price tag on it. So we have Chico's 2010. They made some lovely jewelry as well. They probably still are, but I've had people that really appreciate their vintage Chico's pieces that I've sold. Let's see what else is in our treasure chest. This is an earring. It's really cool. But I don't know how... Yeah, there we go. I think I saw the other one. Yes, they are earrings. Okay, so this way... Hmm. Are they bent or do they match? Not sure they match. They are a little different. Might just need to be... Oh, the little ball moves. Now, I live in Cape Cod. You can probably see that from some of my names on here. And there's a Cape Cod bracelet that uses this bead thing. I wonder if these are Cape Cod earrings. I'll have to look. There is a mark right there. Let's see what it says. Good job, iPhone. Woo, my older iPhone is really doing a great job. It says, 
Oh boy. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. I'm trying to figure out what it says. Because I sure can't make that out. All right, let's see what the other one says. Sometimes if you can't see it on one, you can see it on the other. Hmm. Maybe it says sterling. This is going to take a little bit. 925, okay. 925 and something after that. We'll have a look and see if it's a Cape Cod earring because there's something written after the 925 and it may be their logo. So, very cute. We have tangles. If you watched my other videos, you know that I don't mind tangles. Is this the same bracelet or? No, it's different, but it says friends. Okay, I don't know. Not familiar with that, but please let me know if you are. Ooh, this looks like a necklace that matches those earrings. Very, very beautiful. Gold tone necklace. Okay, back to the tangles. I don't mind tangles. It's relaxing to me. And it's relaxing to some others that like to watch it. But if you don't like them, feel free to double tap your screen. I think it should jump ahead 10 seconds at a time. <clears throat> and you can get past the tangles if they annoy you. And if they don't annoy you, then I'm really glad you're staying and watching the untangles. I can't say I always love them. Sometimes they're so annoying, but in general, I don't mind. I guess if you're going to order a box like this, you can't mind the tangle. Okay, let's look for the clasp. That's always a big help. Or let's look for an earring, because that's always the, the guy that's messing things up. Oh, it's a ring. Mm hmm And an earring. Two of them. Oh, yeah, that did it. Awesome. I think there is still another necklace here. All right. Now, let's figure this out. Look for the class. We've got one here. And we've got one here. So, another earring. Oh, it's a nice long necklace. Oh, I can't wait till I can get the camera that can really give you guys the whole uh, view of things. Because look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Actually, I'll start from here. I'll show you the clasp. And if you watch my other videos or you're getting to know me at all, you know that I clip way down the end here so that that extension doesn't wrap around and tangle things up again. So live and learn. There is a tag. I can see that it's Supreme, Supreme Design. And it's a very delicate, lovely, Necklace, two chains, beautiful green, acrylic faceted. It's got a very soft brushed gold tone, and I really think these go with it. Wow, that's so pretty. I feel like if I were watching this, I would want to know how much this is, so... I don't want to give prices and seem like I'm selling. I do want to have fun, but if someone loves this, rather than pass it by, Supreme Design, very beautiful set, earrings and necklace, I'm going to say $12.
and we'll put that pretty baby aside. I'll turn on the Presidium, just see if we can make sure if that's glass or not, so you can know. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what was a bit tangled up with that appears to be a sterling silver bracelet or maybe a piece of a chain. A little knot in there. If I can't get it very easily, then I'll just do it later. This is part of untangling. Untangle, untangle. Yeah, not too hard to do. I think we should have a discussion about nails. Not nails I could make a house with it. Fingernails. Because you probably noticed I don't have fancy nails. And that's because I can't. I tried them and they bother me. Not only when I got them on, the acrylic nails applied on, it hurt so bad. And I couldn't stand the feel of something on my fingernails, covering over them. I did try them for a long time. I really tried hard to wear them, but I just couldn't. I think they're beautiful. I admire people that have videos with the beautiful nails, but yeah, that's why you're not going to see beautiful acrylic nails, so I apologize, but the rest of it will be fun. I don't think this is sterling. Looked for a mark, didn't see one. I'll put it aside. Okay. Wow. I think I'm going to move this because I don't want it to get dirty. And then we'll use it when we want to have a really good look at something. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at all the colors. And there's something tangled in the midst of it. Let's undo this. And wow, another one of those squiggly earrings. Let's see. Are you the pendant that goes? No, that's another necklace. Okay. Here we go. Another clasp to undo. That will help a lot. Okay. Oh, we've got another Florida theme thing, or California, whichever. Looks like a palm tree necklace. And let's undo this as well. Okay. Oh, this is one necklace. Now, how can it be? No, two. Okay, I'm assuming this might be an older sterling silver necklace. Let's see if we can see a mark. I think I can from here. Yeah, so this is an older sterling necklace. Some people like them polished, some don't. It's got the original um, ring that goes to the lobster claw. Nice. Nice piece of sterling. Then we have this bead ball chain with the cute palm tree. The rhinestones in the middle. Chain has seen better days. Don't think I'm seeing a mark on it. But I'm going to clip it right here so that that extender doesn't bother me. And put it in our necklace pile. Okay, we want to see you. We really want to see you, pretty baby. Hey, there's a seahorse in there. So in this box, the last... I'm sorry, the last metallic box that I had, there was a piece of 14 karat gold and it was a little seahorse, just like this, but it was from a different thrift store, so. And it didn't have a chain. So now every time I see a seahorse, I'm hoping, it's gold, it's gold. So how many of you are shop goodwill purchasers and how many of you have had a box from them? Do you like them? 
What's your favorite part about opening a box of any jewelry? What do you look for? Do you like the vintage jewelry? Do you like the newer jewelry? Do you like precious metals? This has a stamp on it that says SN inside of a diamond. And I'll have to research it because I don't know what that means. And here's our little seahorse. Feels lightweight. It does magnet. So maybe that's a name, maker's name, maybe on Avon. They have a lot of things like that. But inside of that diamond shape, I'm not sure. I'm going to guess Avon, but of course I'll have to research it. Now, back to this pretty baby. I think she has some more things tangled in her. This may be another necklace altogether. It is. Okay, here's our clasp. Let's undo that. Okay. Oh, it's pretty. So we've got the older spring ring clasp. That's always exciting to me right out of the gate because that means it's an older necklace and I like the older things. I'm not seeing anything on the clasp yet. But the pendant has very pretty red stone. And some leaves underneath. Just a sweetie. Sweetie, sweetie. It does magnet. Hitchhike. It's definitely cute. Come on, you've kept us waiting now. What are you? Move this. So, looks like acrylic painted beads. Um, well, after all this, I may have to take some time to untangle it off camera. I just don't want to be going too slow. Yeah, it's almost there. It's cute. It's got purple, green, red, yellow. Let's see what we have up here. The older spring ring clasp. No name. Put that there. And that's what it looks like, and I'm sure once I untangle it for final, it'll be pretty. It's in great condition. I do see a little bit of something there, but it could be just where they were painting it. So in the necklace pile. Back to the treasure box. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Looks like sterling for sure. And... Any idea what that stone would be? I'd like to say mother of pearl, but it's very pink. Really looks sterling. Let me have a looky loopy. Oh, it needs a bath before I can see anything. Okay. No, I'm not seeing a mark. I'm really surprised, but. These things take time. I find I need to relax and sit down with really good light, take my time, and just really look. There have been many pieces of jewelry that I thought had no mark. And sure enough, I found one. So I will relax and take time and look for the marks. And then I will come back at the end and talk about the pieces. This is really pretty. It's like a, the cream color enamel 
flowery leaves. Love it when they finish a necklace like that with the ball. So pretty. And the hook clasp. Hmm. This is lovely. It looks like a Monet style. Not seeing a name anywhere. Are you? Do you see a name that I don't? Sometimes I'm yelling on the video, it's right there. But it's not easy to make a video and talk and do all these things and see everything at the same time. So that's beautiful. Happy with that too. So these boxes aren't cheap. I mean, this was over 300. I'm going to say closer to 400. But if you've seen my first video where I unpack the beaded items and unpack these with it as well, this is the Austria crystal um, brooch that was in the first half, the other bag, the first half of this box. And this is a Weiss brooch that was in it as well. So the more you know, the more you learn, the more you, you can be able to get more than your money back from these boxes. So that's what I hope. Nice clip on, brushed gold. Oh, this is pretty. This reminds me of the Anne Klein style with the with the station beads along the way. Pretty things. Okay. Oh, I see a maker's mark, so that'll help. A wiggly earring. Oh, I can't wait. Look at all that sparkle. I'm so excited. So exciting. I've always kind of been a treasure hunter. My grandmother loved to save things. Probably too much, but I loved her so much. And she never wanted to throw anything away. We grew up on a farm and it was, we had lots of room to keep things, so. But she was a wonderful influence in my life and she just thought everything was pretty. And then later on I became an eBay seller of vintage china and crystal for many years until shipping went so high that I had to change to something different. So this is not crystals, they're gold tone um, beads, station beads on four chains. And let's get our white necklace bust so you can have a look at what it looks like. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's got a nice weight to it. And this is the maker. I think this might be oh, White House. Is that the White House brand? I'll have to research that. Would you put it in the comments if you know? And look at that sweet little way they finished it. So this is very classy, very well made. Just a beauty. And we have a brooch, a very red brooch. Oh wow. This is beautiful. I know there's one missing, but could be in the bag. I see a little pearl missing there and there. That one has a little wear on it. I think I la asked in my last video if you guys know if there's a way to refinish, to, to fix pearls that have been scraped off. I mean to match the color and all that. Really that job sounds like it belongs to a vintage jewelry expert for sure. But if I wanted to keep something for myself and wanted to fix it up, do you know any way to finish up the pearls that have been scratched? That is a beautiful red. Now, I heated up the machine and I said I wanted to test these little earrings. So let's get Miss Pris over. I think they're acrylic, but just to be sure. 
So it's these green earrings that match the necklace. Yeah, it's not moving at all, so it is acrylic. Certainly are adorable. No problem with that. But while we're here, let's have a look at what this stone might be. That's certainly glass. And that is glass. Yes, it is. Nice, I'm happy that that's glass. This is something from this box as well that I've had out that I wanted to test what they were. Her earrings, they are really pretty. I love them. They have like a texture, um, I, I don't know that I can explain it, but and then a brushed gold tone, pierced. And they just look like they might not be acrylic, but they are. Nicely done anyway, very nicely done. Okay, onward, onward. Little bracelet that says, says something, something family. Okay, oh, a pair of earrings that are together? No, rings. Oh, cute. Cute ring with some dark blue, I think enamel, adjustable. That's a sweet one. I mean, think of that with the right outfit with some navy blue. Or you're out for the day, maybe going yachting. That would look, look really nice. Would look great. And another ring, and it has rhinestones along, really tiny ones. Oh, and they're open in the back. So for someone to open back the rhinestones to let the light through, I would say it has to be a little better than just, you know, a cheapie. See if I see a mark. Hmm, I don't. Let's see if I can show you the, the rhinestones closer up. Let's see, probably it's the light. So I don't know how that's coming across for you. But that's the rhinestones and see how they're open in the back to let the light through. That should mean it's a little bit nicer piece. So is it magnet? No. So it's going to go in our ring pile. Oh, we have an articulating owl. And a little bit of a hitch here. Come on, lovely. Come on, pretty baby. I want to see you. I see some turquoise color beads. I see some hearts. And here's one of the culprits. Earrings. And... Aha! Uh -huh, there's a knot there, so that's why it's staying stuck. There we go. Got that out. And what's next? Who wants to be next? Come on, pretty babies. Okay, we got... Oh, that's sweet. Wow, I would say that's a choker. That's a very... Oh, it's got that knot too, so it's going to give us a little bit more length, but not my favorite necklace display because it's flat. It doesn't have any shape to it, but if we use our imagination, we can see what it could look like. So that's really cute. It does have the older spring ring clasp. Not, don't think I'm seeing any names. So I'm going to put that aside. Move on. 
love to see what this heart one is. This earring is really hitchhiking. I think we should approach it from taking the necklace out of the earring rather than the other way around. Hmm. Do you like to untangle jewelry? From what I've heard, there's entire videos on just untangling, and I have thought of that. Maybe a 15-minute untangle video. And people can choose whether they want to see the untangles or not. Okay. We've got something almost free. Looks like a nice vintage piece. Okay, I think that is my... My roof is dripping because we had snow last night. So there's a little bit of a, like a tapping noise. Sounds like my the gutters on the roof are draining a bit. <coughs> it almost sounds like a woodpecker or something, but it's not. Oh boy, this one is really giving me stress at this point. Oh, thank you. Wow, fancy. Okay, I'm going to relax, because the more I relax, the better things will go. And... Sure enough, I see another clasp and a tangle. Untie that. You're welcome to fast forward. I know too that we can use a couple of needles and get tangles out, but we really just want to get it out enough to take a look at what we have. Not sure I'm going to be able to with that knot. So let's see. There's a beautiful locket with a blue stone in the center. Looks like it is on um, the, the pearl background. Nobody's home. <laughs> Gold tome. Um, so this chain is the more delicate. And this chain is heavier. So there are two different necklaces. Looks like our beautiful rose locket may go with the spring ring. But now I'm seeing, did you see that? There's a green, like a peridot color pendant in here too. So let's undo that. Oh, maybe that's going to be the whole key to it. Hmm. I don't know if I should play music or hum a tune or that you just enjoy the nice, quiet, peaceful. There are some YouTube jewelry unboxers that have a nice quiet voice and I have a hard time going to sleep when I'm watching the videos because I just can't wait to see what's next but some of their voices are so sweet that I can fall asleep to the voice that's always enjoyable there's different personalities for everyone I suppose I've really enjoyed watching Texas Gal videos. I've learned so much from her, Margaret. Uh, I can't thank her enough for how much I've learned from her videos and others like Kristen. can't recall the names of their channels off the top of my head, but I would like to thank them all for sharing 
their wisdom with us for sharing their journey as they started out not knowing much as well and they learned along the way and now we have them to refer to I find jewelry people to be some of the nicest people I've ever met really are they're very kind very forgiving very not not picky at least that's what I've found really enjoy this new group of people I'm getting to know through videos because they're very nice we got one free it's a little tiny what I thought was a green peridot color stone how's my light let's see I want you to be able to see that let's try to zoom in Sweet. I don't like that my necklace um, display is getting dirty. I guess I'll have to change to a white fabric background. So let's see if there's any marks. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. No marks. Very cute. Miss Prissy, what do you think this stone is? Or is it a stone? Hmm. I know I'm out of the camera, but I didn't want to drag the machine over. I don't know. I think it's just decorative. Can't wait to get to more things. Oh no. Not oh no in a bad way. I mean oh no in a good way. Is this another Stella and Dot or a J. Crew? Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. This is gorgeous. It is a J. Crew. This has to go on the display. You've got to see it. Look at that. Oops. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I. Yeah. Forgot to unzoom. Isn't that beautiful? That would look so good on. The Rolo chain is in really great condition. So beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. I think I might want to... What should we do a giveaway? I think I might want to do a giveaway of this necklace. I don't know how to do a giveaway, so I'm going to have to ask my son. But stay tuned, and I will ask him, and he'll help me to figure it out. But this would be a great giveaway, don't you think? J. Crew Giant Crystal Faceted Necklace. All right, we were looking at this one before, and I think... It's about to come loose for us. So let's see. And look what we still have to do. <laughs> wow. Yeah, maybe I have to do some untangling off camera. We don't want the videos to be like 10. Part 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10. That would be too much. So this... Looks like one of those Y-drop style necklaces. It's got the hearts dangling. I'm not sure what that chain is called. The older spring ring clasp. Put you together because we took it all apart to untangle. Okay, come on, baby. Now, let's just make it easy. Does it magnet? It magnets. But that's okay. Doesn't have a name, not that I see. But it's very sweet. And it's time to wash the fingers. I have a box of pop-up wipes that I'm using all the time. 
because I really don't want to have yucky yuckiness. Okay, um, yeah. Toe ring kind of freaks me out, but I guess some people like them. I think I can see already this is 925. And I think I can say already that I like it. That's pretty. I think maybe did I show you at the beginning of this video my newest sterling silver bracelet? I just unboxed a smaller Goodwill from eBay box that I actually saw this in their listing. I've looked for one for a long time and now I'm wearing it and I'm wondering how that would look as well. I think that's a keeper. It's a beauty. I love the design on it. So I'll work out that kink. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, 925. Wish I could put it on now, but I'll have to wait. Now on to you. We know it has a delicate chain. I'll work out tangles later. But let's see if there's anything on the little tiny spring ring clasp that would give us an idea what this is. Anything on the sides? No. It's really different. The blue rhinestone, the flower. It's gorgeous. So let's see if we can find a clue on the clasp. It says 1 20th, 12 carat. That's what I thought it would say. And I think the pendant goes along with it, but it should also say 1 20th somewhere. So I'll take a look all over, see what it says. But we know that the, the chain is 12 karat gold filled. And yes, very pretty. Mother of Pearl, that's what I meant to say it was set in. Appears to be Mother of Pearl. Okay, let's see if we can keep going. Get some of these free much quicker. Wow. Oh, I hope it's not raining our snow away. That's what it sounds like. It's getting warmer out and the snow is melting and just dripping off the roof. Oh, come on, babies. We want to see you and have a good time. We don't want to untangle all day. Okay. I want to be careful. Oh, look how pretty that is. Hey, is that supposed to be in there? Okay, this is different. Super different. You never know with all that jewelry packed in that bag and then shipped around what can happen to these pieces on the ride. So sometimes it's a mystery. Okay. Oh, that sound is making me feel like cozy, sleepy, rainy day kind of a thing. Be funny if I'm talking about a sound that doesn't actually come through and you guys are like, what is she talking about? She's hearing things. It's a crazy person hearing things. Okay. All right. I'm getting frustrated. Look for a clasp. Take a deep breath. And look for a clasp to undo. Unless it's all the same necklace. Let's just take a look at the maker. I'll show you first. <coughs> Excuse me. Seasonal Whispers. That said Seasonal Whispers. This. Is it two necklaces or is it the same? Don't know. Okay, 
I don't want to belabor this. Oh. Yeah, okay guys. I can't do this to you. Even if you were to fast forward, this is just... It's too much. You can see that I hate to give up because I say I'm going to give up and then I keep going. Alright. This one's going to go aside. I'll see what I can do. But let's look at this pearl with this rhinestone in the middle. Is that supposed to be there? Do you think someone lost a pearl and stuck a rhinestone in? Huh. I don't know. I don't know if it's glued in there or not. That's cool. Okay, you're going to go in the jewelry hospital for now till we see, sorry about the noise, what we can do with you. Now, come on, we need some success here to get some of these things out. We want to see some baubles. Oops, something went flying. Ooh, nice brushed gold tone earring. The other earring to one we already found. So that's a pair. And so is this. I think we found one of those. Wow, what? That's huge. Look at those crystals. That is so sparkly. Hmm. It almost has like a rose gold finish um, behind it. Oh, is that pretty? That's so, so pretty. Okay, put that aside. And we've got another earring. Not sure if that's silver. This looks like a bracelet. Yeah, it is. And it has a mark. It says 925 Italy, a C and a G. C like cat, G like George. Ooh, that's a nice one. I may end up having 30 sterling silver bracelets on because I am in love with them. So I like that. Let's see, it might be a catch and release. Alex and Ani style bracelet. Say anything? Cute little leaves. Little um, pear shaped rhinestone. Adorable. We've got a clip on. We've got something that says 925 on the back. Well, that's pretty. I'll give that a quick polish. See how it comes out. Oh, nice. So I live in a small place and I have a wonderful son. I have three wonderful sons. But one of them right now is in the kitchen. So it's just the sounds of life. That's beautiful. Sterling silver pendant. I do feel like it's it's hollow. But it's beautiful. And we have a sparkly. This looks like the other earring to this. Yeah. Neat, really neat. Another pair. That says something on it. Happy holidays. Aw, that's cute with the little snowflake rhinestones and the lariat style clasp. Very pretty. 